see the tape right there. And I had to put some tape on it for some reason. Oh, you can see the tape. I had to put some scotch tape on there. Sorry, that's my parents there in the background, so just ignore that. And yeah, the, the disc, the disc plays fine a lot. And I checked the opening to this DVD today. And, um, first it has like a warning screen from the classic Universal DVDs. You might know what I'm talking about. And then it has a preview for the, the classic Lamb, Lamb Before Time um, direct to video sequels in which I never liked those sequels. I just think the first movie is better Yeah, I just think the first movie is better and then there's the menu In fact, this didn't have a universal previews um, um In, in fact, this didn't have the universal previews uh, screen Even though it had a preview and then it shows the menu. And then <clears throat> and then it shows the um the universal um logo from nineteen ninety seven to two thousand twelve. And then it shows the universal logo from the eighties. And then it shows the star of film. And then it shows this a few a last few seconds of the film. And then and then you have the end credits right there. And then after that, you have like a, and then after that, there's, there's a Don Bluth film logo there. <clears throat> and then it has a screen that says produced by Sullivan Bluth Studios. <clears throat> Sorry, I just don't want to take too long in this video. So, and then there's the Amblin Entertainment, um, logo at the end oh yeah i almost forgot there's something i almost forgot after the menu on the beginning it shows like a like a a g-rated screen yeah you might for all audiences you might know what i'm talking about and then after the after the film it has like a a g-rated screen once again which is still the film you might know what I'm talking about. And then and then it and then it uses a a deluxe digital CEO's logo. Like like the like the old one. Not not like the one that was used on the like on the like on the like on the 2013 DVDs and stuff. But but it uses the one on the 20th Century Fox DVDs, like Napoleon Dynamite, the Sandlot, stuff. And also Garfield the movie. You might know what I'm talking about. And then it has a Macrovision logo. Yep, and then it shows the menu once again. And yeah, that's all for my review on... And that's all for my DVD review on The Land Before Time. Sorry, that's my parakeet right there. So I, I'm sorry about that. So that's all for my video and good day.